Greetings, YouTube. We're one guy dying again this week because, well, life happens and, yeah, he's off for this week. So we only got to one video for you because I'm waiting for a new shipment coming in. And Brandon doesn't have anything to contribute because he's not here. So we got the Nick Toons, Nickelodeon from Jazzwares. They released this thing in 2012. I find these randomly in Dollarama, which is a dollar store in Canada. The only two I didn't find that I really want to get is Ren and Simpy. So if you have any of those, contact me in the inbox and I'll buy them off you or whatever. Just not for a million dollars. I'm pretty sure you can find them on eBay cheaper than that. But we have a good little store. We got Rugrats, we got uh, Fairly Odd Parents, Cat Dog, and Hey Arnold. And this is the full set for each one. They didn't do every single character for some odd reason. So let's start with the Rugrats because that's the one I watched probably the most out of all these. So we got Tommy and we got Chucky. For some reason they said to have only the one character from each series represented on the box. So we got Tommy with a picture of Tommy and we got Chucky with a picture of Tommy. It's really hard to find them when they're on a rack and you're, all you can see is the side of the picture of the character. So it just makes it a little awkward. Back of the box. Each character comes with an accessory. Of course. Chucky comes with a raptor. Tommy comes with a screwdriver that's attached to his hand. Shiv. Our director does say Shiv because we got our director back. Finally. Right, let's get it out of the box. I'm kidding, I'm not Brent. I don't care, but cutting around these things carefully. It came from Dollarama for $3. And they still have them, so if that breaks, I can go buy a new one. So, they're very limited articulation. Uh, then you can basically just twist his shoulder and that's it for the arm. It's got a little hinge on it, but you can't do much with it. No head movement. You can do the splits. Very talented kid. See, he comes with a screwdriver. Sure. That's the only accessory he comes with. Shiv. Our director was, was playing Skyrim, he just got the shiv. So, yeah. Let's put Tommy there. He doesn't come with a stand, so he kind of stands awkwardly. There we go. Now we got Chucky, who is my favorite in the Rugrats, because, I don't know, probably because he's one of the only, one of the only ones that's properly dressed. Let's get Reptar right, because Reptar is awesome. Now uh, we got Reptar. This one wants to focus. There we go. He's actually really nicely painted. Yeah, it's has nice purple because the tongue's purple. He's really nicely painted. Look at that. I mean, that's the person focus button anymore. It's awesome. So he's got articulation at the waist as well. No, Tommy doesn't even have that. Tommy got the shiv. Tommy got the shaft. Shiv, shiv, shiv. So, yeah, they're kind of stuck in a fixed position. I got a little knee twist here. Oh, I just broke his legs. But Yeah, I think Chucky's the better one of the two of those. We have fairly odd parents and cartoon I'm not too familiar with, but the director liked it. My girlfriend likes Fairly Odd Parents, so I had to pick these up. You know, pretty much I bought every single thing of these I saw in the store. Come on. I there. You know what? I'm giving birth to it. Failed. Abort. Abort. Push. Abort. Push. There we go. Push the little one. It can't flew in too. Push the top one. So, for some reason they to strap her into this thing. I'll try to go this way. It's only plastic. Why do you think it's stuck? There we go. The deed is done. So this is Wanda. 
Comes with a stern for some reason, probably because he's so head heavy. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you, mate. I think, I think there's a little bolt here. I'm not going to bother pulling it. Because it has a pin there. Three doors again, another one. So, yeah. Stand works, as you'd expect. Nicely painted. Except for he's got the print on the back. But it's pinned over, is it? It's alright. Looks, from from what I remember for the other it's pretty representative of what the character looks like. Uh, we got. She comes with Cosmos Fish. Goldfish mode. There we go. He's got the whole overbite and everything. A little bit of a gill on the side. And we've got Cosmo. Not the magazine. <laughs> and he's not tied into the packaging. That's kind of sweet. Yep. And Wanda's goldfish. Tommy fell over because he doesn't come with a stand and he's got tiny little feet. There he can do the splits. So we got one of those goldfish. There we go. And we got Cosmo. Again, he's got the same stand because, well, Look how damn head heavy these things are. Yeah, nicely painted. Uh, you know, for jazz words, they're not the best with paint details. So there's a couple of little paint defects. But still worthwhile picking up. Especially when you get them for $3 each. Uh, we'll leave Cat Dog till the end. Hey, Arnold. Everyone's favorite football head. Which, if you saw the. No other videos, but just the. General toy of April O'Neil for the new Ninja Turtles series. She's got a little bit of the Hey Arnold football head going on. Uh, they tell these stupid things, don't they? I'm going to get something to cut this. And I'm back with scissors. So, I did not remember the pig in Hey Arnold. It may be in there, but I did not remember a pig. Cause I thought they lived in like a block of an apartment block in like kind of a suburb of a city. They wouldn't have a pig, but you can have a pig. Come on, get your dead football head out of packaging. You have a comes with sand. So he's got a little bit of head articulation. Arm, yeah, he's got arm articulation. Uh, basically no real leg articulation, apart from it's kind of rubbery and I wouldn't want to bend that around too much. But his stand clips onto his flannel shirt that's sticking out of his, uh, he's got tied around his waist. Until it's the 90s when everyone's got flossers tied around their waist. And we got Cat Dog, who's packing something like he's in a weird science experiment gone wrong. Kind of like a human centipede type thing, except for it's a dog and a cat. This is a cartoon that never really made sense, even when it came out. I'll just be honest with you on that one. It was quite comical for the first episode you saw, but then it kind of got old pretty quick. Probably didn't show on TV too often. So he came up with a fire hydrant. And more of the stupid rubbery band stuff to cut. And let's see what I have the packaging. <laughs> it was weird cat dog body. Okay, that's... Isn't that way? Mm, how do you put this around the right way? <laughs> if I make a weird looking monster. 
Which is pretty much what Cat Dog is. A weird looking creature that you wouldn't want to cross in a back alley. Or anywhere. Yeah, he's not very well done, is he? Uh, let's see. That goes that way. It's a little better. So, let's call it that for now. We have Cat Dog. Cat Dog. Of course, the dog's W1, the cat's a serious one. Pretty much like all cats and dogs are stereotyped. Weird backwards and forwards legs. Cats' ones are very loose. Dogs are very stiff. So yeah, this goes in my uh, part of the shelf where it's uh, kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, there's not too much to say about him, to be honest. I had to tag him because he's uh, freaky in a way. Come on, Chucky, stand up. Oh, Tommy, stand up. He just stand. Yeah, he does need a stand, as the director just said. He does need a stand. For some reason, those are the two that didn't come with stands on the set, this set I've got. But, yeah, worthwhile picking up if you see one in your dollar store. Because, yeah, three bucks a piece, you can't go wrong. It only came like three years ago. I have, I've had these since. I've had these for at least a few months. I was just trying to track down some more for the set. But, oh well, couldn't find them. I might turn to eBay to get random Stimpy at some point. But, yeah, good luck finding wherever you want to find out of the set. Dollarama in Canada, and well, at least on Vic uh, Vancouver Island. But, yeah, they all, I've seen them every single one of the Dollaramas. So, happy hunting on YouTube, and we'll catch you again later. See ya.